Today I'm going to attempt to make a replacement battery pack for my cordless phone. As is the case with most cordless phones, the battery pack dies long before the phone itself is worn out. And then the dilemma arises where you have to decide whether to spend $15 on a new phone or about $15 on a new battery pack. What I've opted to do is solution number three. Building a new battery pack out of some rechargeable AA batteries and some tape and a rubber band along with the plug from the old battery pack which I've snipped off. To get started I'm going to tape these two batteries together like this. I want these to be pretty securely taped together because I don't want any movement that would cause a connection to become lost. Now that the batteries are taped together, I'm going to use this jumper wire to connect the positive of one battery to the negative of the other battery. Now that my jumper wire is installed, I can tape the old wires from the original battery pack to my new battery pack. The black should go to the negative terminal and the red should go to the positive terminal. Next, just a bit of reinforcement tape.
Next I'm going to install the rubber band onto the battery pack so that it holds these wires against the terminals of the batteries. For the negative side of the batteries, I'm going to place this small piece of cardboard on top of the wires because these connections are not very secure if I just put the rubber band over these wires because there's no direct pressure on the tops of the wires. On the positive side, the rubber band will press directly on these wires and directly on the terminal because it's raised. On the negative side, the terminal isn't raised, so I need to apply a little bit of extra pressure. So I'll place the cardboard on top of the batteries and put the rubber band on top of everything. and that's what it looks like when it's finished you might have to fine tune it a little bit so that it keeps a good connection let's try it look at that So now I just need to wedge this slightly larger battery pack than the original one into the compartment and I should be in business. It was a tight squeeze but I think I have the battery pack wedged in there tight enough that I can get the back cover on the phone with some persuasion. And that's how to prolong the life of your cordless phone without spending a lot of money. Thanks for watching.